CBS World News, Bob Trout speaking. And again, we bring you the available reports, all of them from German sources, on what the Berlin radio calls the invasion. There is still no Allied confirmation from any source. Correspondents who rushed to the War Department in Washington soon after the first German broadcast was heard were told that our War Department had no information on the German reports. There's been no announcement of any sort from Allied headquarters in London. The first news of the German... Well, YouTubers, <coughs> as promised, I'll put out a video today. And uh, you have to bear with me with the camera angle because my tripod is short. Like I said, Sean's been working the last three weeks. He's working the next three weeks. So CCKW content's going to be a little on the slim side for the next few weeks. Uh, but I did want to put something out. <clears throat> so we're in my house, in my garage, with an old Jeep. Yes, my 2011 Jeep Patriot. And uh, <clears throat> thanks to a very unfortunate encounter with a Port Authority bus while I was parked, uh, I guess the bus driver, while I was sitting on the side of the road as he drove up, decided that, hey, you need some adjustments on your mirror, and decided to adjust my driver's door mirror with the entire side of his bus. These things happen. <clears throat> so, long story short, I had to fight around with the bus people, and yeah, it's. So, uh, this is kind of band aided back together. But we plan on fixing that today because Jeep wants a fortune to do this. I think the quote was like 500 bucks. And uh, so <clears throat> I went on Amazon and found a replacement here. Or no, where did I get this from? It wasn't Amazon. Oh, yeah, it was Amazon. Yeah, Tasca, Tascaparts.com. Not sponsored. I paid for this. Yeah, so I've got the fold away heated and power mirror. So for I think this was like a hundred and I want to say 130 bucks. And I can actually get it. So we're gonna replace the power door mirror, power and heated door mirror on the Jeep. So this should be a pretty straightforward and easy one. Maybe I'll toy around with something else after we get this done. Uh, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to tear the mirror off, I think. Okay, so first things first. I moved the camera over and elevated a little bit. So now you're not looking up at me, you're looking at me. And I put the window down for a little easier access. And, uh, this is the culprit in question. We're going to see what it takes to get into this thing. Let's find out, shall we? So we're going to open the door. And strangely enough, there's a piece of plastic here. That's kind of where I need to go. So does this just poop off? Let's just see. Uh, yep, it does. So that just popped off with my hand. See, it's held on with a couple little clippy doodads. Well, that was easy enough. My life can't go this good. Nothing in my life works this good. Uh, okay, so we conspicuously see a cable and a connector. And we pushed a little hickey-doo. Well, look at that. We're out. Oh, wait, you can't see that, huh? Guess I should, should zoom this in. Let me spin you. So, we came across this. This was in here. A so. We just pushed a little clippy dooey right there and pulled her out, and there she is. So, we're there. Oh, what I see? I see another nut down there. Hmm. I can access that one. I can't get down to that one. What's. Aha! A hole. What's in the hole? Can we pull out the hole? Can we pull the hole out? Oh, look at that, huh? And now we have free and unrestricted access to the bolt. Yeah, right there. Sweet. All right, that's two. 
So we'll put that right there. Now conspicuously you'll notice on the other one, there are three. Hmm, we can see this one, and we can see this one, and we got the wire. Where's that one? What did you do to me, Chrysler? Hmm, I wonder. Did they happen to hide it back there? Because if that one's there, that one's there, then the other one should be out here someplace. Did they do something silly? Well, what do you know? Look at that. Ooh, that one's all goofied up. They hid it behind her. Sneaky little buggers. All right, well, let's see. We're going to guess that that's probably about a 10. Oh, here, look, King, it's my retarded puppy. What are you doing, Val? Sniffy dog? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna guess that's 10 millimeter. So we're gonna get some stuff and we're gonna see. Okay, so it's an eight millimeter, not 10. And we're gonna get this and loosen that one. We're gonna sneak in here. We're gonna loosen that one. And we're gonna hope that this rusty one over here Thank you, Chrysler, for making a freaking nut hard to get to. We're going to take the extension. And we're going to screw it off there. <laughs> Very carefully. Aha! That's two. Alright, so now, got two of them off. Oh, you're in a bad spot, huh? I never said I knew what I was doing. Let's see, can I stick you in a better spot? How about I stick you? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just put all this stuff up here. How about that? Okay. So, why I put the window down, because I got two of these off, when I take this third one off, this is going to be loose. So now I can just stick my hand through here and hold this. This zip wrist is off of here. No, oh, she got loosey goosey. Clark, Clark. All right, so now, all things being equal, this should just. <laughs> that huh well, that was entirely too easy so I kind of glued this back together when the bus hit it it folded it clean back I bet you it ain't gonna take and the power doesn't work on it anymore and I bet you without a whole lot of effort yeah see this just pops right off so if you ever wonder what was behind one of these that's it's all busted up the big part is the power doesn't work and the heat doesn't work Oh, well, yeah, there it is. All right, fine. Great, wonderful, just quick. All right, so we'll reach over here, pardon me, bending out of the way. We'll pop that into its normal spot. And we'll fish the little doodad in its little doodad hole. Oh, shit.
There we go. Now it's not going anywhere. See that? I'll just reach in and put that top nut on there. We'll leave that loose for the momento. We'll put this one back on here and try not to drop it down in the door. We're going to put it back in the extension. We're going to carefully feed it through here, line up the hole. Give her a spinny spinny. Yeah. And two for two. Now, we we'll take this one, which is the one behind the rubber. I should probably do something with that. But it's lasted this long. We'll pull the rubbers out of the way. extensions we'll get our little stubby ratchet put it in the on mode instead of the off mode we'll go over here we'll give us a couple of turns use my human torque wrench for those of you that don't know the human torque wrench is you tighten it until you poop You'll make a mess in your drawers, it's too tight. And we'll put that one back on there. So now there's a little clicky thingy here for the rubbers. Clips the rubbers back into place. And then we'll take our little pluggy pluggy and plug our little pluggy pluggy back in. Yes. Yeah. And we'll take our little work. We're going with supreme confidence here that I've done my due diligence. Back on there like that. Oh, we're gonna take this. We're gonna look for the little holy holies, and we're gonna go. Boop. And it's like we were never here. So, did we succeed? Therein lies the question. So let's take you. And let's see if we met with moderate success or not. So we'll spin it. I'm doing this on the fly here. So we'll roll in the car. And see, look. You can never tell we were there. So let's start up the beastie. And let's see, do we have mirror movement? We'll flip it over to this one. And... Oh, mommy, it moves. Up, down. Ah, look at that, huh? Mommy, we did something right.
and it's like I was never there. How the hell did that happen? Pipe? Hey, huh, how about that? How did I do that? I have to look into that one again. Well, yeah. Nifty. There you go. Now you can uh, replace the door mirror. Now, just why I did that and why I didn't take it to the dealer, I've got the quote laying around somewhere. Um, Jeep wanted Chrysler, Fiat, whatever you want to call them. Wanted $200 for that mirror. They wanted another two hundred dollars. Put it on. Two hundred dollars to do what I just did. And come on, it's not rocket science. Baby. I got the mirror for one hundred and thirty bucks. Three nuts, a plug. Now you know why I work on my own cars. So there you have it. So, with that being said, let's uh. Oh, somebody wants attention. What are you barking about? Huh? Just what are you barking about? Huh, silly dog? What? Come here. Hey, come back here and say hi, Bill. Huh? Come back here and say hi. Say hi to the people. Oh, that's right. You're at the end of your leash. Come here. Hey. Come here. Say hi. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Where are you going? Scared? Doggy, doggy. <laughs> well, next trip, mechanically, is working on that. Because I replaced the struts and now something's loose. So I gotta find the torque specs. Uh, I might probably do that today. But yeah, that's the next thing on the agenda. I may do that today. I may do that tomorrow. I don't know. I'm kind of winging it without showing my cohort in crime so anyhow let's uh I don't know I'm kind of juggling around here which makes shooting videos kind of tough but oh I know what else I don't know how interested you are but it's content right got to put up something that's 25 minutes uh I went tool crazy my Tool chest was running out of room. I don't mind a garage, it's a mess because I do a project and then I scoot and then I don't clean up. Yeah, it gets crazy in here. And I needed another tool chest. If many of you have noticed, or maybe haven't noticed because I don't shoot many videos over here at the house, my tool chest is a snap on. Nice chests, don't get me wrong. Way overpriced. <laughs> Was up at Harbor Tool and Freight, my favorite place. You people ought to sponsor us. Every other video, we mention Harbor Tool and Freight. So you guys need to contact us and be a sponsor. Because we spend a lot of money there. So anyhow, they had these tool carts on sale. So I bought a tool cart. And uh, let me spin you around. There it is. And let me tell you. Other than putting it together, which stunk because the directions kind of stunk. Once I got it together, it's a really nice cart. That, uh, and it was only like 200 bucks. Versus that thing is like 8,000. <sighs> That's just without the side box. That side box was another like 2,000 bucks. Now, mind you, I bought those 30 years ago. You know, who knows what that's going to look like in 30 years, but, but yeah, that's, uh, I've expended my tool, tool storage capabilities. So, and then the other thing that happened is, you know, everybody likes to have a little noise or something when they're out in the garage. Well, I had a home theater system that had a AM FM stereo built into it and it died and I had this extra TV laying around. I'm like, well, I never use it anyway, so... I wall hung my TV. Yes, that's a just a generic little cheapy TCL 32 inch flat screen with Roku built into it. And I got the wall mount 
at Harbor Toll and Freight for 12 bucks. And uh, it streams. It's a streaming TV because Roku. And uh, so I had to buy a Wi-Fi extender. And my Wi-Fi extender is hiding over there. So now it extends my wireless network from where it is in the house to there and rebroadcasts it to there. So now you can watch all my YouTube videos in 32 inch color or whatever. So that's that. And then of course, you know, all the miscellaneous World War II stuff in storage. Eventually, we'll get back to doing something with all that. Um, yeah, so anyhow. Uh, what else? What else am I going to do? I don't know. Let's see where the day goes. This may be the end, if this is the end. Somewhere along here, you'll see my email address pop up. And then um, after that, uh, if you got any comments, questions, anything you need, just apply to my email. Send me an email. Uh, <clears throat> then... If I do this right, somewhere up in here should pop up the link to my Facebook page. And we'll let that come up and you can see it and write it down. And la, da, da, da. Are you up there yet? Oh, one of these corners, it's up here. And then that'll go away and my Instagram page will show up. You can check us out on Instagram. Are you there yet? Sliding somewhere. Get all that up there. And then if that's all playing, then this is probably the end. That's not playing. I just made a fool of myself for nothing, which is okay. Uh, but as soon as Sean gets done, we'll get back to CCKW content. I do have some wires, and I bought the goodies that you seen me buy out at the Finley, Ohio military show for the GRC9. Sooner or later, I gotta get off my duff and do that. We may f mess around with that later. Who knows? But uh, anyhow, this is it. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'm going to put that up here somewhere. Today. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, whatever that is. Bye.